Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I do Pisces readings for the collective. These are general and they're going to help you spiritually maybe on the path that you're on and try to, I don't know, point out where you need direction. Okay, so this will resonate to you personally on a spiritual level if it does. You will understand, you will find meaning in the words that I say here, and that's how spirit works through me to you. Today we have the Knight of Wands. Today is the day of what I call, or fondly, fondly call, what is blocking you. I don't know if I fondly call it that, that's why I was laughing. We all love blocks, don't we? We love to know that we're like going down the road and suddenly, ah crap, there's, um, you know, um, a roadblock. What am I supposed to do here? The Knight of Wands came in. And with this card, this especially in this deck, it's a very colorful, beautiful card. But it shows somebody just making so much noise that it's rattling whatever's in the darkness to come out and show itself so that you can really look at it and take care of it and, and I don't know, get yourself out of that, okay? Um, the reason you're doing this at this point is I feel you're very confident right now. You know what your truth is. You know what you want. And you need action. Even if it's slow action, um, this week if I would pick something that really is defining is that slow wheel of fortune. Spinning slowly, but so hard to stop. Even though it is, it looks like it's not doing very much, it's very heavy. Um, they're showing me diesel engines. Diesel engines are sometimes slow to start. Um, but they can carry a lot of weight and they're strong. There's a lot of strength in the movement forward that you're doing and I like that. But at this point, you're just, I don't know, you're rattling, you're rattling cages. And I, it could be yours, it could be the environment around you, but you really want to get, it's like getting all the little stuff that's hidden. It's, um... Yeah, they're showing me, it's, it's, for some of you may be unpleasant, but I mean, what's hiding underneath, you know, something, when you move it or shake it, things scurry out of it, so yeah, I'm not going to go into details about that, but that's what I feel. I feel that you want to see every little corner of things. You don't want to leave any stone unturned, so don't feel like you're being blocked, even though you're just concentrated on one thing in particular. Um... You're doing fine. So, Call of the Muse. If you look at this card as well, I do feel a lot of beautiful fire energy coming in. Uh, the thing about this is, is I feel that there's a lot of, um, uh, a lot of brilliance coming from you. Um, a very attractive light that's coming from you. Um, even playful energy, if I might say that. I know it's, it's it may sound strange in the way that it's coming through, but it's not. You're shaking things up because you're feeling very confident in your skin. You're feeling good. You're feeling like you... I feel even in this, like they almost have like the Queen of Wands with the Knight of Wands together. Okay? You have a vibrancy and an inspirational, creative, confident, beautiful energy that's coming from you. And it's bringing in a lot. I love the 30, I believe it's 31. 31 is showing me four. I'm even getting like the four of wands when you're dancing and everything's beautiful and celebration. There's, there's a real magic to you. So, is it a block? I don't think so. I think maybe you'd rather be celebrating and doing all of that instead of like rattling cages, but the beauty of it is, is I feel that both can fit in this week in the way you're doing it. You can shake things up and at the same time be vibrant and beautiful, okay? When you feel the call of the muse, you are being invited to create, to be the artist choreographing your life, 
serving on behalf of the great artist, the divine source. While the process feels intensely personal, your ego self-identification are ironically the most unnecessary parts of the equation. While you might think your own, you own the magic of your creativity, you can truly say you're the source of the inspiration. I feel that as well. I feel that as well. Another message I'll let you know that came through before this reading is that a lot of people think that being of service in the world, doing something of service, um, we equate that to just certain aspects or certain feels of, like, you know, you'd say a nurse is of service to other people, um, a doctor, you know, fireman. So, but do you understand that the artist is as well a service to people? By doing what they love, they are sharing, sharing the beauty and creativity with the world. And when people look on their creations, they feel that beauty and creation. And you are of service to elevate people's vibrations. So don't be, don't be dismissing anything that you're doing in your life right now, whether it's rattling cages or dancing for the crowd, that you, you are definitely doing something to improve and being of service to the world. Just wanted to add that in there. Okay. Um, similar to the Spirit of Genius from card 29, which I, I don't know what this one is, but let me see. Awakening the Genius is card 29. Imagine your creativity stepping from another spirit guide, the Muse. Just as a genius needs to be to partner with your intellect, so too does the muse need to open your heart and let magic flow through your intuition and emotions. Yeah, a lot of intuition and emotion, but that's always good. And I mean, you're here listening to a tarot reading. Your hope, you're you're looking for signs, and signs are a big part of emotions, intuition, being guided in your life by what you deem or feel is right from a perspective, an instinct, gut, and intuition, okay? Stop seeing yourself as the center of the process and said see yourself as a partner in a creative dance. Remember I told you I saw the four of wands where everybody's dancing and having a, a wild time? Sometimes you might be inside the music and the feelings, the story and its expression, such as this beautiful drummer here, right? Other times you observe from the sidelines, watching it all flow from an unknown yet deeply intimate source. She's also on the sidelines here, watching this beautiful horse getting, you know, either um, irritated by the noise of the drum or excited by the noise of the drum. It doesn't matter, right? Today your muse is calling you to be a channel and allow the creative energy to flow through you. The energy of emotion is waiting to begin a voice, a name, a shape, or a color. Journal, finish that writing project, start something new, paint, sing, dance, and don't worry where any of it lands. It has its own plans for you. Your muse knows where this is all meant to go. For you, the big magic is in the experience of the of answering the call. Right. So later on, we're going to be doing another reading, and this one is Spiritual Union. So a lot of like intuition coming in listen to it, awaken that, okay, that's the big thing, what I had written for today, it's time to rattle a cage to find out what fits and what fulfills you spiritually, so that's what we're going for today, what will fulfill you spiritually, Pisces, the muse is a very beautiful, beautiful card, um, with beautiful colors. I mean, the magic coming out of it is, is gorgeous. I'm going to be using the Sufi Tarot again. Okay, 
So you have the Queen of Swords. Look how beautiful that is. Beautiful palace. Okay. Hmm. Let me see. I'm going to actually uh, read what they write for this one because it is gorgeous. And I want to see. The Queen of Air reigns over all that is related to the mind. Like the formless, traceless waves of the air, she is un constrained by social conventions. She has been tested through life's trials and finds no reason to conform to or be confined by anyone's expectations. She is all about communication and truth, logic and proof, prioritizing the headspace over the heart space. Her sword of truth, her moral compass, lights her path. She has experienced what Rumi describes as spiritual cooking, she has been burned, dissolved, and transformed into something new like dry, hard chickpeas that must be boiled before they soften and provide nourishment. She has been through the fire and emerged strong, wise, and self-aware. You're being pointed to a spiritual practice in which you cultivate independence and ind indifference meant to lift your heart upward. Indifference here is not a lack of compassion, rather it indicates the ability to rise above difficult emotions, personal as agitation, irritation, and anger. And that's what we're talking about. You're rattling cages without being rattled yourself. Okay? That is what I'm feeling here. Okay? And independence refers to removing our unhealthy dependencies and relying solely on the one who sustains us. The two wings of indifference and independence are held together by love, the heart center. How do you relate to this practice? Perhaps it's something you need in your life. Excessive independence which keeps us from making deep connections is often a defense mechanism. If so, what vulnerability are you trying to protect? Okay, so great questions, great card, and the book is also very good for this deck. So if you're interested as well. So, I like that. It says that you have all the ingredients, everything that you need in this beautiful queen of air, okay? You have independence, but don't um, shelter in that. You want to be able now, you, you've seen enough. A queen energy is a master energy, and you, you, a queen is also a very receptive energy, okay? It's okay to be vulnerable and without being weak okay so it's time to rattle and shake things up do the work and believe that you're not going to be harmed in the process i think that's the big message here especially for the block know that you're not going to be harmed by doing this okay I feel a lot of queen energy today in this reading. A lot of queen energy. Three of swords, three of coins, and the strength card. Okay. Three of swords. Yeah. These are all linked to this. This this is like I said, her a lot of her energy has brought in all of this. Okay? the pain of things that come in, that really, really scarred you, that hurt you, that made you bleed internally, okay? And the ability to patch things up. Look at this beautiful patchwork quilt, okay? This, this Three of Coins is one of the nicest ones I have ever seen. What a gorgeous card. It has only made you stronger, okay? Strong, yet still childlike. This is a child in this picture, the strength, but the vulnerability of children to be able to discover and go look for things. So this is exactly what I read for the Queen of Swords and everything that's been coming through. You're not afraid to rattle things, even though you've been through it, even though you've seen a lot, even though you've felt a lot. Okay, The Three of Coins has shown me just how beautiful the patches that you've looked, look at what you've created by patching up everything, okay? And it's not just your hands here. This is hands of spirit, 
hands of people who love you. Um, there's been many hands of, of spiritual help coming in to do and help you with these things. Absolutely. Beautiful, strong, that wands, that fire energy all coming in for you Pisces. Okay, so I'm going to put these over here and then we're going to continue drawing cards, okay? Nine of Swords, but in reverse. But look at this. Look at this beautiful card. I'm just going to show it to you. Look at these swords swirling. Swirling and heading down into this person. But it's in reverse. Thankfully, it is in reverse. The Nine of Swords, meaning that these times of great intellectual pain and, and, and suffering is what I feel, is that this is going away. You're going into the Call of the Muse, okay? Asking for beautiful inspiration on how to get you there. You have everything you need. You've you've gone through all the lessons now. Um, you've patched up beautifully. You've strengthened up gloriously. Um, these times are heading out and away, and that's okay. Okay, I was talking about that. I do believe. I was just recently talking about getting inside of your head and getting stuck in your head. I have one I call her careening Karen because she careens into this this thing. Okay, It careens into this endless flow of going in and I feel like I'm sinking and this stuff needs to go. This stuff because most of the times it are not about things that are actually happening. There are things, there are made up things that uh, made up tragedies and nightmares and perceived possibilities that may or may never ever happen. But you need to move past all of this into something better. And you are. You've accomplished so, so much, Pisces. You are now even comfortable. Um, not really threading carefully, okay? You know the wheel is moving. They're still showing me this wheel moving and with great strength and great weight so that it's not going to be stopped. It's not going to stop. And rattling things and shaking things up. It's stopping you from walking from point A to point B really quickly. But there is a reason for you to be rattling these things, to be looking at these things, to be clearing all these corners. I feel it's more like you want to start with a very clean slate. You want to clear everything out. So don't feel that you have to skip this work. Your wheel is still spinning for you, Pisces. It is still going in the direction that you want it to. Okay, so let's pull some more here. Look at these. Oh, look at all these cards. Okay. These are gorgeous. So you have the Ace of Swords. Look at that. Coming out of the darkness. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like poof, you just broke through the darkness. Through this darkness right here. And what's this? The Six of Staff. Standing in glorious success. Victory. Nine of Coins. The fruits, you're bearing fruit, everything's coming to pass. Not only that, you're connecting back to spirituality. There's the hierophant of this card, it is so gorgeous. You even see it just reconnecting to the one, to who you are. 
These cards are of great things coming in for you. These are showing that everything that you're doing is one beautiful step after the next into something gloriously beautiful. So shaking these things, looking into corners, it's actually, I, I feel like the light of truth is going to come in and show you maybe things that you didn't realize. They may, f I, I, they keep showing me small things. Some of these feels like small things, but in fact, they're going to end up being very big things as you go forward. You, it's almost like you, you would want to dismiss them. But they're like an integral part of the puzzle piece that you didn't realize was that important. So just keep going. The wheel is spinning. Rattle the stuff. Keep doing the work. Don't be afraid of the journey. You've been through so much already. Stay out of the monkey mind. And keep doing the work, okay? Keep doing the work. All right, Pisces, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to do another reading later on, so if this interests you, please make sure to subscribe before you go. I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. Take care.